Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker with Camping World and today we're going to go over the 2018.5 Keystone Montana 3791RD or the Rear Den Floor Plan. I really love this floor plan. Uh, Montana's had it out for about a year now and it kind of combines the best of both worlds. What it gives you is that uh, front living room, that raised living room feel but it maximizes your outside storage and they've done even a better job on the 2018.5 model. Uh, we'll see that when we go outside. They've made some other changes in here as well and I'll kind of hit on those as we go through. Starting with the front right here, which is they have redesigned the entertainment center. Uh, you'll also notice a different wood color than what they've had before, but this is a very functional entertainment center here. You know, I really like it in this floor plan. As you'd expect, you have the nice big TV right here in the center. Below that, they've gone to the uh, glass front here to cover up your entertainment center. And it's something, you know, I, I remember growing up with this at my parents' house, but you just kind of push that in, it's magnetic, and then this lifts right up. And then right here is your uh, multimedia center. So this unit is a radio, uh, CD, and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it right in there. It's already hooked up. It is also Bluetooth capable. It controls the speakers in here as well as the speakers outside. Right over to the side there, you see some nice extra storage. And then on both sides of that are your speakers. Uh, right here, they've gone to a new fireplace. This is a four foot wide fireplace, which is awesome. Uh, really definitely helps up the aesthetics in here. And again, not only does it look great, but it is a large space heater. Uh, you're looking at, you know, 750 watt output there. So uh, it can definitely help heat up this uh, main living area, especially if you don't want to use propane. On both sides here, you have some extra storage. I'll open that up for you so you can take a look right in there. So nice spot for DVD collection, anything else extra you want to throw in there. Directly above that, you have windows on both sides. As you would expect, and Montana's had for a little while now, you have roller shades uh, on all of your windows in here. So roller shades are great just because they work a lot better. And I like the fact they went with the beige color rather than the, the black that you see in a lot of RVs. Just because when it's nighttime and you close those for privacy, it helps keep it nice and light in here. It doesn't uh, really darken it up. You also have electrical outlets on the side, so if you need to plug anything in on the side there, you can do that as well. And then you have storage right across the top here with the nice uh, kind of frosted glass there. You can see they have the uh, decoration on the front too. And then the top of the entertainment center here is now open with an LED light in there, which again is great if you want to put some knickknacks up there, you know, just again helps kind of with the uh, aesthetics in this main living space. Now, very similar to your front living room, you have dual opposing slides in here. Uh, nice and big area, that's you know the big appeal here. And both of these are tri-fold sofas. So what that means to you is that not only are these comfortable to sit on, but they're also comfortable to sleep on. So if you do have guests that want to stay the night, both of these do fold out, then your guests won't have a bar in the back or wake up on a deflated air mattress or anything like that. And you can sleep two adults per uh, sofa when it is folded out. So you can sleep four people up here, which is great. You can uh, tell again with, you know, I mentioned that the woodwork had changed color a little bit. Uh, right here in the center, it's kind of cool. They put like a darker, darker wood stain in the rest of it. Just kind of helps break things up. And when we go in the kitchen, kind of helps to tie, uh, tie in your appliances and things like that as well. And then up above the crown molding, they still have the nice rope lighting going all the way through for some cool auxiliary lighting there. Right over here are your two recliners, the best seat in the house. Uh, one of the cool things that Montana has done here is they've gone to power recliners. If you take a look right over here, you can see you have a couple options. One is just a light. It lights up your cup holder right here. The other two say open and close. So that will actually lift up uh, your legs. That way they can get them back down. The thing I like about that is a lot of times it's really hard, especially if you're older. You know, it's not tough generally to lift it up, but to put it back down, you have to have some leg strength. And a lot of RVs, you know, and I've seen it at multiple shows and, uh, you know, on different lots, when you go to try to re uh, put that back in, again, it's just difficult. So having a power button to do it is phenomenal. Now, bear in mind, you do have to have shore power or a generator running to be able to operate these. However, this is a huge coach. You know, you're over 40 foot here. Chances are you're probably going to have shore power where you're taking this, so it's not a big issue. Uh, but again, I like the, the uh, power recliners there. And then you do have the removable cup holder there in the center as well. So if you want to take that out, you can certainly do that. Otherwise, it just gives you a spot to put a couple more cups. 
If you take a quick look at the ceiling, we'll take a, take a look down. We saw the lights in the crown molding. You also have the crown roof here, which uh, Montana is very well known for. You have LED lights throughout. Then right up here, this is really cool too. This was something that they had in the 2018 models as well. But you now have two quiet, cool ACs standard, both in your main living area and in the bedroom up front when we head in there. Uh, cool thing about that is it's about 30 to 35% quieter. So when you're sitting here watching TV or talking with people, you don't have to yell or turn the TV way up to here, which again is a pretty nice benefit. Let's walk on down into the kitchen a second. So uh, again, you know, they haven't done a ton to change the layout since last year, the kitchen. It's very similar, but they have changed a lot of the finishes. They've changed your countertops here. It's still a beautiful solid surface. They've lightened them up. It's now this nice white here. You see it has a smooth edge, a little more modern look than what they've had in the past. New linoleum here for the 2018.5 as well. Now you also have dual opposing slides here. That is what allows for this center island, which makes this an awesome prep space. Uh, you know, you can see here that you have plenty of room to, to prep your food. They've changed the sinks in the 2018.5. They've gone to a 60-40 sink. So you can take a look at the size of this. This bowl right here is massive. So the thing I like about this is if you cook with residential pots and pans, you can actually fit them down in there. Um, you know, it's nice and easy to wash and rinse, especially with your high-rise pull-out faucet here. And again, your sink top covers, you know, you can put right back on there to be able to utilize that as prep space. You do have electrical outlets as well. So if you need to plug anything in, you can see some electrical outlets there. So whether it's a blender, uh, you know, a griddle, whatever it may be, uh, you can plug them in there. When you come back around to the front, take a look at this. Right underneath, they give you a spot for a trash can. You don't have to guess. That's where it goes. You also see this little wall. That is for your sink top covers. So... When you're not using them, you can just stick them right in there. Do the same thing with the other one. It's a place to store them where they are out of the way. Then right over here, you have a bank of three full extension ball bearing drawers. Uh, let's take a quick look right over here. Then we'll kind of make our way throughout the kitchen. So this is something else that's nice about the uh, 3791 here. Look at all this extra storage. You know, because they have this raised living room area, you get a ton of storage right under here, which is great. You know, for some of your larger items, uh, you know, if you want, you can put pots and pans down there. But, you know, really, uh, any large items, you just can't really think of a spot to put them. That's a good, sto a good storage space right there. Residential Samsung stainless steel refrigerator, 18 cubic foot. Again, a ton of cold storage here. Uh, you'll see you have some crisper drawers. You can control the humidity on there as well, which, you know, is nice. If you're looking to go full-time, which Montana does recognize full-timers, and they will give you full warranty for it, Having a residential fridge like this can be very beneficial and you need to have, you know, some of those uh, extra options like the crisper drawers, things like that. Uh, really nice and easy to set that. There is an ice maker in the freezer portion there too. Moving a little bit further in, now that you have big cold storage, you also have a large pantry here. There is a light, so if you need to be able to see at night, it's nice and easy to do. You can see several shelves there, nice deep pantry, and you have the decorative frosted glass on there too. Right over here is the cooktop. Uh, this was something they kind of did a rolling change on, was the new Furion cooktop. I really like this cooktop. The middle one here is high output, has this beautiful residential look to it. And then the uh, oven they paired it with underneath here is phenomenal, look at that. So you have a good sized oven in there where you can actually put you know, like a small turkey if you want for Thanksgiving. And the thing I really like about this though, is that it has electric ignition. You don't have to get in there with a long match or anything and burn half your arm hair off. It has a spark on there and so it will go ahead and light itself, which is nice. Right over here, they have installed a power tower. So you can see a couple electrical outlets there, USB ports as well. Nice and easy to drop down, just push in that red button. That will let it drop down like so. Beautiful backsplash on there too. And then you have four drawers going all the way down the top one has your silverware holder already in it there. Nice big drawers. An additional one underneath the oven here too. Take a quick look up top. Nice large microwave. They still have the big stainless steel microwaves they've had in here. Over to this side, you have these nice cubby holes. I'd probably put spices in there, but again, whatever you want to put there. And then across the top is a wine rack. Even if you're not a wine drinker, you can still put some bottles up there. It still uh, is a nice look in the kitchen. Over to the side is your hutch. So good storage up top here. Open that up for you so you can take a look. So great, again, you know, the thing I love about this coach is not only do you get that big 
front living room uh, feel, but you have a ton of uh, storage both inside and out here. And you, it's no exception in the kitchen, as you can tell. A couple LED lights, backsplash right there as well. And then underneath, we'll open this up for you. Good storage all throughout here. You will also notice you have a central vac. So you can hook your hose up right there, be able to vacuum everything out. Right down below is your toe kick. So that way, uh, if you're not familiar with the toe kick, it's kind of like a, like a barber shop or hair salon. You can just kind of sweep everything up with your, uh, with your broom, just kick that open. It sucks it right in there, close it back down, and you are good to go. Across from the kitchen is the buffet-style table. This is something Montana's put in the majority of their floor plans, and I really like it. Uh, you see it a lot in motorhomes, but in, again, it's just starting to come out in fifth wheels. You see that trend quite often. Um, and, and the thing I like about it, there's two separate things. One is the fact that this allows them to put outside TVs on the majority of the floor plans. Two is it's, it's smart. It makes sense in this space. If it's just the two of you, this is all the space you need. There's plenty of table there. You have the buffet top. You want to set a couple more items up there. But if you're like me, I like to entertain. I like to have guests, friends, family over. That's part of what camping is all about. So if you want to entertain, you want to have people over, great. There's this little T-handle right down here. You just give that guy a pull. That will allow you to pull the table out just like so. And then there's also a leaf in here. So you can pull the leaf out, set that up, and now you'll notice there is plenty of room for four people. It does come with two foldable chairs. Those are tucked away underneath the bed. Uh, but again, you know, I like the fact of how easy it is to set up. Also, right over here, you have another power tower. So again, need to plug in some electronics, whether it be a tablet, laptop, you know, maybe you're one of the lucky ones that get to work remotely, you can plug it in right over here. There's also an additional electrical outlet on this side as well. Again, roller shades all the way throughout, including on these sides here. These windows do open, by the way, as well. Uh, the windows on the slides in the Montana open on all the slides, which allows for a really nice cross breeze here. Plenty of lighting here up top as well. Let's move up real quick here. I do want to show you a couple other things. Uh, nice wide entry door to, for starters. They did go to a new step system. Well, they've had the more ride system, but they put a shock in here, uh, this strut assisted, but I'll kind of show you how that functions when we go outside. Uh, but that's a nice addition as well. Making our way up the steps real quick though, I do want to show you this, something Montana does very well. Again, the majority of the floor plans, you come in, right here's a coat hook. You know, I like to camp when it's a little bit colder, sometimes in the fall, early spring. You need a place to put your jacket, your sweatshirt, things like that. And then all of your controls are centrally located. You have one big clean panel here for uh, all of your lights, your slides, your tank monitoring panel. This one is wired for solar, so if you want a permanent uh, solar panel up top, that's nice and easy to have that wired in there as well. The bathroom in the 3791 features a foot flush lever toilet with a porcelain bowl, so it's nice and easy to clean. Right up next to that, you will see the linen closet, so that way you have a place to store your towels and anything else that you want to throw in there. And right over next to that, you have the large one-piece residential shower. One-piece shower is great, you don't have any seams, so less chance for any kind of leaks. You also see that you have a seat built in as well as some shelving. And then you also have a hand wand with the hand bar, so that way you can easily adjust the height based upon how tall you are. And then up above that, you see the skylight, which not only lets in uh, some natural light, also gives you additional headroom. And over to this side here, you see the vent fan. It's a nice big vent fan, so it really helps move the air and will quickly help dry your bathroom out. And then right here, you see the mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. And directly underneath the beautiful uh, solid surface countertop there with the molded in bowl, great countertop space and you have additional storage below that as well. The bedroom of the 3791 is nice and spacious thanks to the slide out king bed. That way you can fully walk around making it very easy to make the bed. Not only do you have the large king bed here, but you also have good storage underneath. You can see that right there. There's the two folding chairs I had mentioned earlier. Uh, as I said, those are nice and easy to set up and they do match the existing chairs that are already out there. Both sides of the bed, you see you have a nice shelf there, as well as windows. So again, if you want some cross ventilation, you don't want to turn the AC on, you can open those up at night. You also have electrical outlets on both sides, so you can charge electronics at night. And right down here, you'll see you have another electrical outlet, so if you have to sleep with a CPAP machine, something like that, you have a place in which you can plug it in. Large leather headboard there, which is great. If you want to sit up and read a book, it gives you a little bit of padding behind you. 
couple LED reading lights there as well. If we take a quick look up front here, this is your wardrobe. So you see you have uh, slider mirrored doors there, so you're able to see yourself when you get up in the morning. You have the hanging rod going all the way across, good spot in which you can hang clothes. LED lights in here, of course, as well. You also have an electrical outlet in here in case you need to plug anything in. Big shoe rack there if you want to put shoes there. Or folded clothes, you know, if you have a lot of folded clothes you bring. Again, you know, the Montana's thinking about people that are going to stay in their camper for long periods of time. Chances are you will have a lot of clothes. And if you want washer and dryer, you know, you don't want to run out to the laundromat to wash them. This is where that would be installed. You remove these shelves here, put your washer dryer unit right in there. If, however, you uh, don't want washer and dryer, this is great extra storage. You do have the two big shelves there as well as an additional hanging rod going right across. Take a quick look at the ceiling. Again, as I had previously mentioned, you can see uh, you have the air intakes right here rather than your standard AC because, again, this is a quiet, cool AC here in the bedroom. Right here at the foot of the bed, this is something neat. This is, again, one of the changes that Montana made with the 2018.5 model. Uh, rather than having your TV just kind of sitting up on the wall, they actually angle it downward. It now has a downward angle, so when you're laying in bed, it's a lot easier to see the TV. You know, that was, a, again, kind of a, kind of a problem that most manufacturers just didn't think about or just avoided. So a simple fix like this, uh, you know, really does kind of go a long way. I think that's, uh, you know, kind of cool. Right down here, you have an additional electrical outlet for anything you need to plug in, any kind of auxiliary equipment, some drawers down below here, you know, good usable full extension ball bearing drawers there, and then you have an additional window right over here. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features and the changes on the Montana 3791. Starting right up front here, they have changed the outside graphics package as well as some of the coloring on the front cap. It's still a very nice, seamless look. Uh, changed the mountains, the fonts a little bit as well. But again, still a beautiful painted front cap on here that will last you for a really long time. You have an LED light strip up top as well as one on each side here, so that way you can light up at night. You also have a mirror right here directly up front, so as you're backing up your tow vehicle, you can align your kingpin and your hitch. Speaking of kingpin, this is another one of the changes they made. They went from the Moor Ride to the Rotaflex system. Uh, we'll see the suspension changed as well. They went to the road armor. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. But the Rotaflex is nice. It basically has a pivoting head here, which helps eliminate the bucking and chucking when you're starting and stopping the RV. So we take a look underneath. Open this guy up. You see it's nice, clean storage right here. This is one of the things I really like about Montana. You know, you don't have a bunch of uh, a bunch of tangled mess in here. You know, it's again nice and clean. If you want to store stuff in there, you certainly can. Over to the side here again, they do a great job of cable management. You know, I talk about being clean. You can see how everything's tucked away the way it should be. They have their cords wrapped. Battery disconnect right there in the back. That is for your uh, residential refrigerator, which we saw when we were inside. Battery box right here. Also, your hydraulic fill is there too. You have hydraulic slides as well as hydraulic leveling. So if you need to monitor that or fill it up, that is where you will do it. Speaking of hydraulic leveling, you can see that right back here. You have six-point hydraulic auto level. Touch a button, it will level itself out. It does have memory as well. So when you're done, you can have it go right back to where you dropped it off at. So you can literally just back your uh, pickup right up, hook up, and go, which is really nice. Right over here to the side. One of two 30-pound propane tanks, so 60 pounds of propane on there. And then as we make our way back a little bit further, you get into the very large pass-through. One of the changes Montana has made recently is rather than having a strut on this side, if you don't have a slide here, they have the door go all the way up. Nice magnetic latches there too, so you can just flip it up and hold it. You don't have any plastic tabs or anything that'll break off on you. If we take a look at the pass-through, you have a massive pass-through storage here. Again, something you don't often get on a front living room. That's one of the big advantages of the rear den is all this outside storage. Uh, they, Montana accomplishes this by using what they call a drop frame construction. If we drop down here, we'll take a look. So you can see the I-beam that's running right through here. Notice how it stops. Well, this is your drop frame. Your uh, structural I-beam, the main one, is actually right up top. You can't see it. They cover it up real nice. But then they actually stop it, drop this down, 
and this is what gives you that extra pass-through storage. Still has great structural integrity, but just, again, gives you a lot more storage there. While we're down here, another quick thing I do want to talk about, this unit is four season capable. You have an enclosed and heated underbelly in here. You have tank heaters as well, so that way if you are in a colder, colder climate, you don't have to worry about things freezing up on you. So, again, huge storage. You have an electrical outlet in there. This is where your uh, central vac will dump out at right there. Uh, so, it, also, if you want to clean it, it's nice and easy to be able to clean in here. You can see you have the hookup right there. Also, you have a light up here, which is cool. So, you know, again, if you want to be able to see at night, you can do that. And then you have slam latch baggage doors. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, the doors are a little hefty. Um, you know, it's just part of it has to do with the size of the door. The other part is the slam latch mechanism. The thing I like about it, though, is it works. You don't have to push it shut. You just drop it. It swings shut. It shuts. Uh, it is a very, very nice slam latch system. Right over to the side is an electrical outlet. You need to plug anything in. You don't want to plug it in in the pass-through. That's the spot you will do it. Let's go up a little bit. Let's take a look at the windows. Frameless windows on here. Uh, frameless windows have a couple advantages. One, they just look a lot nicer. Uh, two, because the way they open, they essentially tilt open, you can have these open while it's raining and still have airflow coming in. Now granted, the disadvantage of them is you don't get as much airflow because they don't open up as much, but the fact you can have them open while raining is very nice. Now, lastly, you, the seal on here is tucked behind this glass, so your seals aren't getting beat up nearly as badly by the elements. Right in between the two windows there, you see two outside speakers. As I had mentioned, those are controlled by your multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. And up above that, you have your power awning. Touch a button to have this roll out, same thing to have it go right back in. And then there is an LED light strip on there as well, so you have light at night. Let's take a look at the door. I briefly talked about this when we were inside. They have made a couple of changes here. Still nice, big, wide entry door here, which is great. When we open that up, we're going to take a look at the steps. So you have the more ride steps, which is something that Montana came out with last year, but they have been making changes to it, just trying to make it a lot more user friendly. So the thing I love about these steps is how sturdy they are. You have aluminum steps here, so they're not going to rust, but look at this. I mean, you can jump on this. It doesn't move. And the grab handle here, they've actually extended out because these steps are a little bit bigger. So that way you have something to hold on to, makes it nice and easy to enter and exit. But when you're done with these, to put them away, it's super easy. It now has a strut on here, and literally all you have to do, fold it up just like so. It sits right in the doorway, shut your door, and you're good to drive off. And, I mean, it takes all the weight right out of it, the strut does. You can see here, I mean, I can leave it, it sits right there. So, they, they really did a good job, made it super easy this year. Uh, I think that that is a big bonus to have. So, make way back a little bit further. Right here's your outside TV. I talked about this with the uh, having the buffet style table allows for a TV right here. If you don't want to use it, great. You don't have to, but it is just nice to have on there. So if you do want to set up and you know maybe uh, watch like a slideshow, you know you can hook that up to the TV. Or if you do want to watch a show, a movie, maybe catch a sports game, you can do that right there. Take a quick look underneath the slide. You see the wheels, beautiful aluminum alloy wheels there. They're not going to rust out on you. Plus they look great. Right in between is the road armor suspension that I had mentioned. Basically the way that works is that unit will pivot essentially three inches on either side, uh, both on the uh, leading and the trail arm there as well. And so that's really nice. That way it helps take out a lot of those uh, bumps in the road. And what they found, they did some testing, and that takes out about 30% of the uh, frame chatter essentially going through the coach versus a lot of the competition, which you know did essentially less than 1%. So... Uh, that definitely is a good advantage. It'll help when you're towing down the road to have a much smoother riding experience, especially in conjunction with your kingpin there. The outside storage in the 3791 has changed. If you've seen older models, essentially what it is is you had these two sections. They went all the way through. They've changed it, and I think for the better. I'll let you be the judge here, but what they've done is now you have these little side sections on both sides. And this is great. You know, you can still put wood back here if you want. If you have big pool noodles, those will fit in there. You know, you want a spot for uh, your toolbox, you can put your toolbox in there. So if they eliminated that pass-through in the back here on the sides, you're probably wondering, well, what do they do with all that storage? Don't worry, they've made it even better. Uh, as you see, you have the big, beautiful door right here. We'll open that guy up. Again, has the magnets, holds it up there. 
But take a look at this. You have this massive pull-out tray right here. You want to talk about phenomenal storage, here it is. You get that awesome front living room feel with some of the most outside storage out of any fifth wheel. So this is phenomenal. I love that they have added this in here and they still give you the storage on the side as well. And as you would expect, this one also has the slam latch baggage doors. Right underneath here, this is something they have added as well for the 2018.5. Uh, that hitch can handle 300 pounds of tongue weight. So if you want to put a bike rack in there, cargo rack can certainly do that. And again, 300 pounds is a considerable amount. Mounted on the back, here's your rear mounted ladder. This way you don't have to put it in your pass through or bring one with you back here. This allows you to climb up onto the roof. It is a fully walkable roof here too. You'll also see the backup camera prep right there. So you know, this is a big coach. If you want a backup camera, this makes it a lot less expensive to have it installed. And that will help you with some rear visibility to make sure when you're backing up that you're not hitting anything or more importantly, anyone. And as I had mentioned on the other side, you can see right over here, you have great storage on this side as well. And again, that runs all the way up and through. On the off door side here, if we take a look at the pass through, you will see the convenience center. Uh, this is great, makes it super simple to find all, you know, essentially the majority of your hookups here. You have a light in case you're getting in there at night, your outside shower with hot and cold. Everything you need to winterize is right here too. You see the water heater bypass, the winterization option right here. Uh, right there is where you'll put your glycol, so they made it super easy for you. City water right there, black tank flush, you know, that way you don't have to stick a hose down your toilet. You just hook it up right there. That black tank has sprayers built in. Uh, your valves here are insulated. Again, this is a four season coach, so that's why they are located right in here. Your main battery disconnect is right here, so if you want to kill all power, you can just turn it off, pull the key out, and it, that way you don't have a constant battery drain on there. Satellite and cable hookups are in there as well. Uh, last little thing I do want to touch on is right out here, and this is your auto level system. It's super easy to get to, and then you will have the little cheat sheet right down here. So, you know, when you come to pick up your camper, we'll kind of walk you through it, explain it to you. But if you ever forget or you need help, you can just refer to that. All right, folks, that wraps it up for the 2018.5 Keystone Montana 3791RD. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.